Hi everyone, let's try something new. My name is Wolfgang and today I would like to show you a new feature I just encountered and found in Azure Perfume, the new access control and collection management. Maybe you've worked with Azure Perfume in the past and um, well, you've seen those existing roles in the Azure Perfume option that are available like the Azure Perview Data Curator and the Azure Perview Data Reader and the Data Source Administrator. Those were the three roles that were currently available. But with the, let's call it August update of Azure Perview, there were some new things and new access control information added to the uh, Azure Perview environment. And what I found out today was that uh, there is a new kind of access control in Azure Perfew brought to the space. Let's call it that way. And um, there is one big note on that page. I'm going to put that link into the, the show notes. Um, that, that access control, that uh, collection management system is only available for new Azure Perfew instances created after August 18th, 2021. For the old ones, well, there's that kind of legacy control system that we 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 knew and we we found out and and had in the, during the preview with the uh, three roles up there and no differentiation in the uh, access control in here. So everybody had full control. If you were assigned the data. Uh, curator role, well, you could work with uh, creating collections and so on and so forth. With the new approach, well, there is one thing that is added to that kind of permission thing. It's the collection administrators. And collections, I compare them to logical groups within the Azure Perfume environment. So when we scroll down a little bit, we see uh, we can define a collection and sub-collection structure, like uh, in that picture, it's the Contoso, we have Americas, EMEA, Europe, and so on and so forth. In the old version, in the old access control version, well, we had only, you are a data curator, you can curate everything. And now you can break those permissions and you can define those permissions in uh, one of those specific uh, pieces in here. So we can define something here and we can completely define different permissions up there or down there sorry so what is what is different is well it's the permissions can now be assigned to a collection and how does it work when we go to the the azure portal what we see here those are the three roles there are no new roles added to that piece of uh, uh, permission level. So it's the data curator, the data reader, and the data source administrator. But if we switch to the Perfue Studio and we switch to the data map, the layout is completely changed or a little bit changed because what we get now is the menu here. So in the previous version, we only had that map view or the table view of our collections, but now we've got the sources and the collections entry. So if I move to that collections entry, what we get now is we've got the hierarchy of collections in there. So that one is my Perfue account. And uh, what we can do is we can add a sub collection like that one. And we add a collection that is called database. Let's call it databases. Create that one. And uh, what is different to the previous version is, well, there is that kind of role assignment tab in here. So if I switch to that one, uh, by default, all the permissions are inherited from uh, the more generic uh, levels. So if I define permissions at the purview uh, w Strasser, the Perfue account, those permissions are inherited, but I can break them. And I can also add some more permissions in here, like collection admins. 
And if I would like to override the definition, like if I would like to, to add my colleagues from the BI team, so where it is, Kubido BI, yes. And if I add them to that one here, what I did, and if I just refresh that one, I've got overwritten permissions in that collection. And that can be uh, overwritten at every level of the collection um, structure. What is really nice in here, because you can remove all those uh, people that are not required to look at the data, the data structure that is there. For example, we have HR data or whatever. So we can even remove the data readers. So you can uh, build a data catalog for your whole enterprise, but you can limit the people that are able to query the catalog for uh, ERP data, for uh, logistics data, and for uh, HR data. So that is really, really powerful. What I haven't seen and found, but I've encountered and found that feature today, there is no way of deleting a sub-collection. So it's only here, I can add my collection administrators in here, but hmm, there's no way of A, renaming or B, deleting the collection. But I hope that it will come in a, in a later update. But with that, it's very easy. And I think the direction is a, a very good one to create and define your access control, your catalog permissions at different levels. And with that, I hope you learned something new. Let's be curious, stay curious, try Azure Perfume, and uh, see you next time. Waiting for your feedback. Bye.